Let's look at a few examples. Example number one. Please read the question carefully. A game, okay, a game is played by throwing a fair dice. Now some books still call it dice, but when you throw one of those, it's called a die. Okay, it's like one die and two is the plural which is dice but some books are still calling it as one dice so let's not quarrel about that yeah so a game is played by throwing a fair die until either a six is obtained or four throws have been made please be very careful yeah you're playing a game you are throwing a die until either you get a six so which means if you get a six you stop Okay, until either you get a six or you have finished four throws. So, upon your fourth throw, whether you get a six or not, the game is over. Okay, good. Now, what is X? Is the number of throws made. Okay, now I'll repeat X is the number of throws made. We asked to find what the probability distribution of X. We are asked to find the standard deviation of x and then the problem goes on. The number of sixes obtained in the game is denoted by y. So the number of sixes obtained is denoted by another random variable y and we are asked to find the expected value of y. We'll come to that after we have settled the first part of the problem. Okay, so remember once you understand the question, the probabilities will be easier for you to work. So basically, you're going to throw a die, and the minute you get a 6, you stop. And if you don't get a 6 by the 4th throw, either way you have to stop, which, which means you're only allowed 4 throws. Okay? Now, let's look at the solution. Yeah? What is x? Remember what is x? x is the number of throws. So let's look at it so what do we understand by x equals to 1 okay x equals to 1 means after the first row you're done because the first row is a 6 okay now because remember we have to throw until you get a 6 or until you finish throwing four times so if x equals to 1 the first row is a 6 so the probability of x equals to 1 is just 1 over 6 okay now, what is a what is x equals to 2 that means you finish the game on the second throw okay again what is x equals to 2 you have finished the game on the second throw that means the first throw was not a 6 okay and the second throw was a 6 so the probability of x equals to 2 where the first throw is not a 6 which will be either 1 2 3 4 or 5 it's 5 over 6 and the second throw is a 6 is 1 over 6 so 5 over 6 times 1 over 6 you will get 5 over 36 good then we have to deal with x equals to 3 so x equals to 3 means you got your 6 on the third throw and the game ended okay you got your 6 on the third th third throw and the game ended so which means the first two throws were not sixes okay the first two throws were not sixes so that's what you see here not six five over six not six five over six and the third throw is a six so it's one over six so five over six times five over six times one over six you will get 25 over 216 so a quick summary x equals to one means you get a six on the first throw and you're done x equals to 2 means you get a 6 on the second throw so which means the first throw it was not a 6 you can work out the probabilities x equals to 3 means what you got your 6 on the third throw so the first two were not 6's now what about the fourth throw the fourth throw we don't really care because either way the game is over after the fourth throw so what do we do Okay, that's why I made a remark here. Please read it. Okay. Either way, 
you have to stop the game at x equals to 4. So what do you do? You know that a probability distribution, the sum of the probabilities must be equals to 1. I'll repeat. For a probability distribution, you know that the sum of the probabilities must be 1. So what do I do? To find the probability of x equals to 4, I just took 1, which is the sum, minus 1 over 6, which we worked out for x equals to 1, 5 over 36, we worked out for x equals to 2, and 25 over 216, which we worked out for x equals to 3. So this is sort of dealing with complements. Yeah? So 1 minus the rest, you will get the probability of x equals to 4, and that is 125 over 216. So let's write down the values of x and the associated probabilities in the form of a table. So the values x can take, remember x is the number of throws, x can take 1, 2, 3 and 4. And the probabilities, we worked it out, the probability of x equals to 1 is 1 over 6, x equals to 2 is 5 over 36 x equals to 3 is 25 over 216 and we also worked out the probability of x equals to 4 as 1 to 5 over 216. I have set this in the form of a table to help me out in my calculations. Let's write our probability distribution down again. Okay, so let's write it here x can take the values of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the probabilities, okay, for convenience I'm just writing x and probability of x, okay, please refer to page 8. The probabilities are 1 over 6, x equals to 2, it's 5 over 36, 3 is 25 over 216, and finally 125 over 216. So let's first work out the expected value of x. Remember where we are heading? We are trying to work out the standard deviation of x. So we need to find the expected value of x, which is xpx. Okay, I'll usually say this, as I've said before, xpx. So take the x values and multiply by their probabilities each x value with its associated probability and add them up. So that's what I've done here. 1 times 1 over 6, 2 times 35 over 6, 3 times 25 over 216, and 4 times 125 over 216. Use a calculator and you will get your answer 671 over 216. Okay? That's not difficult. Okay? Great. Then we have to find the expected value of x squared. We also had a formula for that. x squared px. Okay? x squared px. So take the value of x, square it, multiply by its probability. And do that for all the values of x and you'll get your expected value. Expected value of x squared. I'll repeat. To get the expected value of x squared, take all the x values, square it, and multiply by the associated probabilities and add them up. Okay, so x squared px. I've done it for you here. Uh, 1 squared times 1 over 6, 2 squared times 5 over 36, 3 squared times 25 over 216, and 4 squared times 125 over 216. Use a calculator and you'll get the expected value of x squared as 2381 over 216. Now let's work out the variance. Okay, The variance is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x whole thing squared. And when you do that, you'll write 2381 over 216 minus 671 over 216 whole thing squared you'll get the variance of x. Remember, we are going for the standard deviation, so 
that will be let me write it here the standard deviation of x will be the square root of variance of x so use a calculator okay and work out the variance and you take the square root you will get 1.172 good the next part of the question okay they ask you to create a new random variable okay the number of sixes obtained in the game is denoted by y okay I'll repeat go back to the question look at it again they say the number of sixes obtained in the game is denoted by y so for us the number of sixes can either be 0 or 1 because remember in the game the minute you get a 6 the game is over so for us the number of sixes can only be 0 or 1 so these are the values that y can take so let's settle y equals to 0 that means 0 sixes that means all your four throws you had no sixes so that's what you see here okay first throw not a six five over six second throw not a six third row not a six and the fourth row not a six so I have five over six times five over six times five over six times five over six this is the probability of getting no sixes and when you use a calculator you will get 0 0.4823 okay now the probability of getting one six okay because remember I said the number of sixes can either be 0 or 1 simply because the minute you get a 6 the game is over so y can only be 0 or 1 so since we have worked out the probability of y equals to 0 okay so let me write it here the probability of y equals to 0 is 0 0.4823 the probability of y equals to 1 must be the complement okay 1 minus 0.4823 and you'll get 0 0.5177. I'll tell you again, y can only be 0 or 1. So since we worked out the probability of y equals to 0, y equals to 1 must be the complement or the complementary probability 1 minus 0 0.4823 and you'll get 0 0.5177. Now to find the expected value of y, that's easy because there are only two values, 0 and 1. So 0 times the probability is gone. 1 times the probability and we end up with 0 0.5177 okay a bit tricky understand the question first before we work out the problem okay a uh, couple of points I want to make okay that's why I wrote this is extra okay now let's say in the game that we just had yeah? in the game that we just had and if in the course of the game let's say there is a system of getting points if you throw a 6 you get 100 points and if you don't throw a 6 okay you lose 150 points remember you have to throw a 6 in 4 throws so I'll repeat let's say in the course of a game okay a game in which we are trying to get a 6 or if we don't get a 6 in 4 throws it's over so if we throw a 6 we get 100 points if we don't throw a 6 we will lose 150 points so how many points can one expect after one game okay so we're looking at 100 points if you get a 6 and we worked this out earlier the probability of getting a 6 is 0 0.5177 and the probability of not getting a 6 is 0 0.4823 we just did it a minute ago I'll tell you again the probability of getting no sixes is 0 0.4823 so we have to multiply that by minus 150 because we're going to lose yeah? so minus 150 and if we get a 6 the probability of remember we had probability of y equals to 1 just now 0 0.5177 multiply by 100 so clean this up and you'll get negative 20.58 okay